in basketball is a, is a GB teammate of mine called Simon Brown. We both kind of started at the same club together in London, um, basically a week apart from each other. Like he's from Kingsbury, I'm from Ealing, but um, yeah, so we've been friends forever, but I'm, I'm really lucky. I've, I've definitely got like multiple kind of lifelong best friends out of the sport. I suppose he's put up with my like, uh, all the kind of neurotic craziness over the years of like good games, bad games, uh, happy with roles on teams, not happy. Uh, we played together in club teams in England and then in Italy as well. Um, so he's, uh, he, he brings that kind of, I think he brings a level of patience being friends with me that is definitely needed. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to like narrow it down. I mean, I, I, I listen to mostly rap before games, especially like in my playlist. Um, but I think I was thinking about it and there, the Jay-Z Jay -Z Blueprint album is something that I go back to sporadically, like pretty much a few times a year. Just listen to it from top, top to bottom, really. Um, so I would say like if there was one album or anything else like that, it would be Jay-Z Blueprint. Yeah, I think like, I, I, I think sci-fi is definitely my favorite genre. Um, uh, I was thinking about this um, and I think The Matrix was a pretty pivotal film for me like sort of 14, 15 years old when it came out um, got me interested in philosophy and all sorts of different things and it sent me down uh, some interesting paths of reading anyway How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel what you can smell what you can taste and see then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain um, it exposed me to like, like certain philosophers like John Baudrillard, who I became uh, a big fan of over the years. So I would say The Matrix is probably my favorite film of all time. It, it, in fact, it's such a big mood for me that I think on rewatch, even the sequels aren't that bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, The Matrix. So I'm excited about Matrix 4 coming out soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that would probably be my favorite movie of all time. When you travel as much as you do, like literally when I land back in England or like, or London especially, or if I like, if I'm on the M40 coming, because the GB team is based in Sheffield and you kind of like on the M1 and you get to the North Circular and it's horrible because you're stuck in traffic instantly, but it just feels great. Like it just brings a smile to my face and I can't, I, it is so hard for me to like rationalize what this is, but it just feels like I'm home and I'm going past like Wembley and I'm getting to Hangar Lane. And it's just like, I'm just smiling, stuck in traffic. Anyone who looks into the car will just think I'm, I don't know, off my head, but that's probably my favorite. London is, is home. Oh man. Um, you know what, as a rule, I would like everywhere to play 48 minute games like the NBA. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, longer games across the board would be, it's like one sweeping general like thing. I think that would be cool even when teams had like double figure leads and stuff like that it just allows for those runs um and te and you get less blowouts you get less because and you know bench really starts to matter and how you manage the game starts to matter and it becomes more tactical i think with a 48 minute game than a 40 minute game i, I definitely tell them to like take care of your hair and like hold on to it a bit longer but uh <laughs> with the exception of that um I think experience is the best teacher, really. And I, and I think you can't short circuit those things. So you can say all you want, um, uh, you know, maximize your time and those kind of kind of things. And uh, and I, I would have probably taken nutrition seriously before I would have taken straight, like, you know, things like rehab much more seriously at a younger age, um, as I start to feel it like getting older. Um, you know, I've had like, wrists my tfcc torn and those kind of things operations and, and shoulder issues and you know the, the the kind of the grunt that it takes an hour of rehab every every uh, every day to do what you do twice a day um so i would definitely try and um the, the advice i would give is you know take all the kind of auxiliary things that you know you can eat like a cheeseburger and literally go play straight away don't do that like take your nutrition seriously, take your preparation a bit more seriously. Twenty-eight, I would say, if I could stop aging at twenty-eight, I think, I think it's you. You've kind of felt enough pain to know what it feels like at twenty-eight, and you're still young enough to like 
bounce back off the ground just as quickly as you did. So I think 28, I think is a sweet spot. 